SQL injection, sometimes called SQL injection, is probably the most well-known web application vulnerability uh, and is responsible for a load of breaches. So let's discuss what it is and why it's so dangerous. So first, let's talk about SQL. Now, this is just an example, uh, but imagine we have a web application that lets people search for products. Now, when we search for a specific term, that term is sent to the web server, which then looks up that term in a special file to access information such as the price or whether it's in stock. Now that file it searches is the database. This data is then returned to the, the user where it can be displayed in the browser. In the database, um, data is grouped by tables and each table contains rows and columns. So an application like this may have a products table and it may also have a users table. To quickly and easily search this database, uh, developers use a programming language called SQL. And a simple query looks like this, which returns the price and the quantity from the products table for the item that we're searching for. So how do we exploit this? In poorly written applications, by changing what we're searching for to be more SQL, we can change the actual query that is being used to search the database. So here, we're using a union select uh, to bring back data, not just from the products table, but from the users table as well. As the application just displays whatever is returned from the database, it displays the extra, extra row as a product showing us the password. SQL injection can get quite complex. Um, there is a way to bypass uh, the login page of a web application um, by using SQL injection. Uh, if you can think of what that is, let me know in the comment.